Hello there. The message has been sent, but what is the message and what's the truth behind it? Now this will surprise many, but it might not be so much of a surprise to the Kremlin as some think. Three Russian cosmonauts blasted off from Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan yesterday for a six-month tour in the International Space Station, and everything was seemingly going to plan until they arrived and left their Soyuz capsule to enter the ISS and meet up with two fellow Russians, four Americans and one German already aboard the ISS. Because the arrival of the three cosmonauts caused a lot of surprise. When the three cosmonauts entered the ISS, they were not wearing their traditional regulation blue uniforms. No, they were wearing jumpsuits in the colours of the flag of Ukraine. That's right, Oleg Artemyev, Denis Matviev and Sergei Korsakov were wearing yellow jumpsuits with blue stripes. Talk about sending a message. But what message and from who? More on that in a moment. But this is one message that will be beamed around the world, except now possibly in Russia. The message in the West being that the cosmonauts are supporting Ukraine. The Times reported, The colour scheme and its dramatic divergence from usual dress codes drew gasps from NASA officials and members of NASA's astronaut corps. Wow, just wow, said Terry Wirtz, a former US commander of the ISS. Anyway, with six months in space, the three of them can work out how they're going to explain this to their boss Vladimir when they get back. If they need to, that is. And I gather the Russian state space programme Roscosmos is claiming they are wearing their high school colours or something like that. But when Artemyev was asked about this, he told his family that it was their turn to choose a colour and that there was lots of yellow cloth about so they decided to use that. Now, as I understand it, those suits are packed away ready into the spacecraft weeks before the flight. So I'll ask the question, how would those suits have been received in Russia had Ukraine resistance collapsed in a couple of days to a victorious Russian army? Ukraine belongs to Russia, maybe? So what do you reckon? Is it three cosmonauts risking the wrath of Putin on themselves and their families by the last-minute sneaking of three extra jumpsuits onto a tightly controlled space programme, where everything is checked, weighed and double-checked? Or a coincidental choice made by the cosmonauts with the jumpsuits being packed ready while Russian troops were actually gathering on the borders of Ukraine? or pre-planned Russian propaganda that got forgotten about? Or were they instructed to use those suits first by someone else? Is it the whole of Roscosmos thumbing their noses at Putin and his war machine? Or is there some other explanation? <laughs> 